What is good, Skadoosh Bag Army? We're here today with another episode of Farmer's Market. And today, we are reviewing the Bitter Melon. Um, the Bitter Melon, which in my opinion looks uglier than the ugly fruit, is not a melon. It's actually uh, a gourd, I believe, more related to like pumpkins and such. And um, this is an Indian bitter melon, so it's got the bumps, but there's a, another cultivar called the Chinese bitter melon that is a, little, a lot smoother. Um, as the name implies, it's pretty bitter, but I've never had one before. We're gonna try that. <laughs> Smelling it, it smells like earthy. Let me get a little nothing like, I remember. Kind of like a zucchini or a cucumber to me. It smells like a petrichor. Nice. It has that nice, like, sweet, earthy smell, if you ask me. Yeah. Um, but eating this raw is usually not recommended. It's it's called the bitter melon for a reason. It's very bitter raw. But we're going to try it raw, and then uh, I'm going to try to cook it up and make it a little bit less bitter and see how that is, too. So here we go, skadoosh bags. So, first off, we gotta cut the ends off. Oof, look at that. Oh my god, it's actually nasty on the inside. So we got the ends off, and then you wanna cut it in half, long ways. Ooh, look at that. A nice flesh Ladies color. and gentlemen, that, those seeds and that pith, we don't want any of it, so you scoop it out. No one really eats the, the pith of the bitter melon. It doesn't come out very easily though, let me just say. I don't want to use a spoon, I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe a spoon would be better than a knife, than a small knife. Only there were a uh, convenient silver ridge nearby. Hmm, this guy's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's one. And then, oh, the spoon's not really doing too much better either, to be honest. Just get that pith out. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's edible, but to my knowledge, no one really eats this stuff in the middle. So now we got basically bitter melon rinds that we are going to slice up into slices, basically. All right, I think that's a good start, right? So we got our bitter melon slices now. Um, and this is actually what we eat. Uh, so we're gonna try one of these raw each in a few minutes, but we're also gonna prepare a few of them for cooking. So we're gonna put all of these in a bowl. And then very simply to remove the bitterness from it, we are going to salt it pretty generously. Hmm, maybe too generous. That's a little too generous, I thought. So we're gonna salt that. Hopefully this removes a lot of the bitterness. And now we're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes before we fry that up. So 20 minutes passed, we got our salted um, bitter melon. It's very moist in the bowl, the salt, you know, kind of draws out the juices. And now we're just gonna like fry it up in some oil. Oh, that's kind of a lot. With some garlic, with some. Hopefully the garlic will 
you know, drastically simmer down the flavor. Good spoon of garlic. Like it's a lot. Not that good for a few minutes. Let's see how this comes out. You can't, you can't go wrong with garlic. That's what I feel like. With the garlic and the salt, I'm feeling very hopeful. My God. You can't possibly be that bad. People eat this on a, you know, a pretty widespread scale. Like I said, there's an Indian and Chinese variant, so they're pretty widely consumed in India and China. But also in Okinawa, from what I've read, so parts of Japan. I know in a lot of Chinese dishes, they, uh, they use this in stir fries. And I saw um, that in, like, the, the Indian recipes, so... They'll put it with like curry or they'll put it in like like fruit salads even. Oh shit, this I was pulling them off as I set that track in. Alright, so you sh bags. We have uh our bitter melon, uh salted, fresh and uh cooked. And you know the deal, now we just gotta try some. Not gonna lie, of all the things we've had so far, I'm a little worried about trying this, but I think I'll survive. First, we're gonna try it raw, because oh, I'm that's pretty best. sure that's the worst way to eat them, but we're gonna have a slice for all. Cheers, right. boys. Let's do or die. Not too bad. Not too, too bad. This is kind of like eating like raw pepper with like a cucumber, like a zucchini skin. Yeah, you know I mean, I agree. The, it, it is very bitter, but the bitterness is kind of similar to a pepper, like you just said. Heavy aftertaste though. Definitely the bitterness is all coming, like it stays in your mouth. In the beginning, it's like a zucchini pepper. At the end, it's like you licked a piece of lead. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I definitely see what you guys mean by that. Um... That more like a uh, earthy, uh, peppery taste. Um, uh, it just sticks. It uh, yeah, it, it almost tastes like 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 a like a like a chemical or like a bad medicine or something. You take it and it's like hard. And it just stays like Bitrex or something. Yeah, that's not very pleasant to be honest. Um, hopefully cooked, it's better. But next. Yes. We're trying salted. Nice intermediary. Which, you know, salted, it should have a little less bitterness, I'm hoping, but this is probably gonna be very the same. Hopefully it's not more. Around two. Cheers. 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 It's the same thing, but salty. <laughs> like you were saying, I can picture in like the um, in the fruit salad, or like if you put this in a fruit salad with the salt, I can definitely see it yeah. as like the counter to something sweeter. Honestly, the, the aftertaste isn't that bad. The bitterness is not like I can definitely see it as like the balance in a, in a in like a nice fruit salad. The, like raw though, no. no not Honestly, yeah, I, I would put that in the fruit salad. It's yeah. awesome. pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, like a balancer to like something obscenely sweet. Um, only one thing left to try though. If this is good, I'll eat all of this on camera. <laughs> I'm praying it's good. A little bit of olive oil. Little, oh, I'm kind of good next time, Chan. I'm hoping it's good, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, let's see. 
Wow. If you've ever had wow. a grilled uh, a grilled zucchini or a grilled cucumber, this is right up there within like the same flavor. That is great. That's really good, yeah. That is really good, honestly, for, you this, know. This fits right in with any barbecue in the summer that you're gonna have, honestly. Pretty much. That, um, that went from like pretty unedible to pretty good, honestly. That's crazy. I haven't filled any, cause I'm gonna devour this. This is <laughs> really good. I've not eaten today yet. Garlic, 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 ladies and gentlemen. That's the moral of the story. Garlic makes everything better. <laughs> Do you, you still get the bitter taste? A little bit. The salt, I think the salt, once it's cooked together with the garlic, just completely neutralizes it. It's a like, it's pretty absent for like, like from before the bitter taste, but it's kind of there. Yeah. But the but, thing is like, like we said before, be good in a fruit salad. Just cause it's bitter doesn't mean it's bad. It's good when it's complimenting other stuff. Like when it's complimenting the salt and the garlic. Fried up nice. It's pretty good. I'd have to give raw bitter melon a solid like one out of ten. Pretty hard. Cooked. I'd say cooked bitter melon. It's more of a veggie than a fruit, like practically. Um I'd say cooked bitter melon. Probably like uh it's really good for you, but it's probably like, I'd rate it like a six, 6.3 maybe. I'll back up to 6.3. I, I wish it's seven or eight. I really enjoyed it. Really? I would put it a little lower just because I think it is a very strong flavor. It's a very I think strong it's, flavor. I think you, it's like, it's the kind of thing that you eat this to eat this. It's not really like, like, yeah. it doesn't go well with other things to I get me. That. It's a very overpowering flavor. Even cooked, because you you did just say it would go well with anything, any. Yeah, but it's like you summer. know you know how like if like on a barbecue you have like your grilled onions, your your burgers, your hot dogs. It's like a separate like part of the thing. Yeah, it's yeah. not like this is this isn't a side. This is definitely like a main thing to me. I see, I see. It's pretty easy to prepare though. I can see it just being like. I can even do like a, grill it and then throw it in a salad. I think that would that be would sick. be really good. But for this, for the. Unsalted, I give it like a two. It's not horrendous. Like one would be just nasty, nasty. I couldn't eat it. I enjoy it for like two, three seconds because it's very cucumber-like. And that's when the bitter sets in. I try not salted. Oh, that ruins it. Oh. <laughs> and the second opinion is about the salted. Salted was. Honestly, worse than the original, I think. I maintain that salted is all right. Salted, nothing special, but it can, like the bitterness doesn't like make you want to stop eating it. Oh, that's so fucking bitter, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bitter melon, man. Lives up to its name. The bitter melon. So, uh, Skidoosh Bag Army, I'd like you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, the bitter melon kind of bitter and uh we'll see you next time douchebags out